Hello all. In this video, we are going to see about plagiarism. In this video, I am going to answer seven frequently asked questions in order to understand plagiarism. So why I made this video is in my previous video of plagiarism, I have mentioned a few tricks to reduce plagiarism in Word document. People have given immense response to that video. Many people have appreciated that video and gave positive comments. And some people started abusing without understanding what is plagiarism. And many went a step ahead and started abusing my country even. I am here to make this video in order to make you understand about what is plagiarism through the seven commonly asked questions. So these are the questions which I am going to answer in this presentation. So first, what are the types of plagiarism? Everybody thinks cut copy paste is plagiarism. Yes, cut copy paste is a plagiarism type. Before going to the types of plagiarism, we should understand what is plagiarism. Plagiarize in Latin means to kidnap. That is, you take away somebody's content, ideas, thoughts, a language without their permission. In research, you don't need a permission, but you need to cite whenever you take ideas, contents, thoughts and language. So the most common type is the complete plagiarism. This is how you do complete plagiarism. You take somebody's article and you replace it with your name, your institution and your details, submit it to the next journal. This is called complete plagiarism and verbatim plagiarism. That is you take a segment of from that article and mix up. There are various types of plagiarism, but the basic is same. That is, you take somebody's content and you don't cite it. That comes under plagiarism. Then we have play a paraphrasing plagiarism. That is, that is, we change the words here and there into some other words through English dictionary. That type of plagiarism is called paraphrasing plagiarism. And we have mosaic plagiarism. We have self plagiarism. That is, taking our own article and submitting into a different journal. Incorrect citation. Whenever we don't cite properly, so that also comes under plagiarism. And these are all the common types of plagiarism. But the basis is same. That is, you are using somebody's ideas, thoughts, content and language without citing the reference. So the second question, will plagiarism detector flag when you cite or quote a text? Yes, plagiarism detector flags cited and quoted content also. Human discretion is needed to allow or reject that content which is flagged by plagiarism detector. But sadly, most of the journals and universities does not have this human discretion model. So they just look at the numbers. So how they are arrived at this numbers is by matching the words and matching the order of the words with the available literature through the internet sources. Are the plagiarism checker tools working the same way? Plagiarism checkers differs in their methods for screening the plagiarism. Their cutoff values are different. That is, some softwares allow up to 5%, some allow up to 10%, some allow up even up to 25%, and the access to the databases will be limited. In general, the online website-based plagiarism checkers are not so rigorous, but the software tools which you download will be more rigorous and it will flag plagiarism more. The tip here is to go with the specific checker with your university or with your journal. Will documents made out of own words and ideas have plagiarism? Documents which is made out of own words will not have plagiarism. But plagiarism checkers can match to some available phrase or content, especially when you are using definitions from the internet and it may show some amount of plagiarism. But plagiarism checkers always set a limit. Only above that limit, that is about a certain percentage, usually it will be 10%, then it will flag it as plagiarism. Below that level, it will be acceptable. Ideally, plagiarism checker tools should have a different allowable plagiarism limit. That is, it should be maximum for review of literature and minimal for results. Are plagiarism detectors easy to cheat? The answer here is tricks trying to cheat the system such as using macros, altering characters or employing other tricks to bypass the automated systems are available in the internet. You can type the name of the software, hacking tricks in YouTube and you will get 
enormous tricks however many tricks are outdated and ineffective plagiarism checker softwares are continuously monitoring those tricks and adjusting their softwares for those tricks beyond all these things way of deceiving this plagiarism detectors is not advisable the next question is will plagiarism checkers ensure quality research plagiarism checkers will ensure quality research here yeah, but we have to keep in mind plagiarism checkers alone will not ensure quality research we have to remember the fact that plagiarism checkers are checking on only on the end products of the research only quality checks in individual processes of research will make quality research the last question what are the consequences of plagiarism the consequences of the plagiarism depends on type of plagiarism amount of plagiarism institutional regulations legislation of the country if a journal finds that your article is plagiarized then they will do this retraction from that journal institutional regulations may demand loss of your job legislations of the country may demand imprisonment and fine to summarize what is plagiarism plagiarism is not a crime if it is a crime it should not be allowed even 1% in any research article it is actually an error to be avoided or to be reduced always use your own words researchers when writing a research article the language where they are not proficient with then they tend to take the same words of the author and forget to cite it then they land up in plagiarism so the third important thing is cite everything you write in your research thanks for watching this video